we've made it to Darwin to the uh, Free Spirit Resort Flash. Um, so we're gonna camp up here for a week. Apparently that's the plan. Restaurant, bar, terrace, caravan, camping, it's all happening here. So it'll be, uh, be a bit nice, hopefully. Hopefully grass and trees and stuff. Anyway, we'll see when we check in. Cheers. on the van with it. Yeah. So you can earn its keep. Yeah, yeah we we'll, and we we'll use it for the boys' work. Yeah. And we'll park off and tell us it's made a plan. Mate, it's uh that one of six kills is from trip. So big day today, we are going to Corroboree Billabong. So uh, we're dropping Percy off to doggy daycare for a couple of days. And gonna head out with my honey bun to Corroboree Billabong, who's sweating badly already this morning. So it should be an exciting day. So hang with us, cheers. It's going to the resort, the fairy godmother at Darwin Airport, aren't you mate? Oh, 
Yeah, they do. Now, what, the reason they do that is they're using those sensory pits along their arms to feel where the fish are and also funneling fish into their to their mouths. So, yeah, very clever. Yep. He's trying to get on the water. Now, a lot of the time, guys, they like um, fresh kill, right? Um, you might have heard how once they have enough to eat out of an animal, they store the rest of it underneath the rock. There we go. That's what you see what I mean about the snapping thing? Money That's shot. what they do. See how he snapped his head back really fast? Oh, no, that catfish has been dead for a while. Yeah, how they do it. Definitely been dead for a while. Watch those arms, guys. Oh! <laughs> yeah, push me, me into him. I'll just put you on the other side of him, actually. And here comes the hawk, watch this. Oh, the, the raptor. Yeah, so these fish lead kites are renowned for it. Yeah. Tell me about how they like to see the right. I'm going to block his path here. Hopefully we'll have a crop fight. Oh, right in front of him. It's just lovely, thanks. And the kite still wants a food. Alright, this could get interesting. Look at him stick, sneaking in. Do you reckon he's weary of him now? Do you reckon you can see him? They just don't so I'm care. you are Yeah, this he's got a bit in his mouth and the head's still there. Comes the big boy. Yeah, he's going under. The head's sitting beside it. Sorry. Yeah. I don't want to get, get out of this log. He might go around the back of this tree. Oh, mm. yep. Live action. I'm out of here. Oh, look, Mr. Underneath there. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. He's seen him coming. Yeah, but where's the big boy coming from? That's only yeah. one tray. Let's go up there. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, little guy's just off on it right there. You can see him on the other side of the pandanus. He's got his fish. Yeah, they prefer fresh stuff. They prefer killing it themselves. It's all about the predatory response. You know, it's something that's dead. Doesn't really interest them that much. Depends how hungry they are, but they prefer fresh stuff. There's a white little pip inside there. And um, yeah, quite tasty. You want to try? Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah. Yeah. I will. <laughs> Get a crack. Thanks. I will. I'll try anything. But before you eat them, folks, I've got to tell you how to extract the poison. Now. <laughs> <laughs>
So they go and do that, a couple of big circles around the tourist. I was like, what about now, Dad? Can we eat them? Yeah, go for it, son. So much, 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 eat them a lot. And then he turns to his dad and he's like, Dad, why? Why do you make us do those bloody circles around the tourist every single time before we eat them? What's going on with that? He goes, well, son, they don't taste too good with the shit still inside. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Some corroboree billabong wetland cruisers. Not far out of Darwin. Absolutely go and do yourself a favour. Cheers. today, uh, this time out to Litchfield National Park to have a look about some of the sights and things to do. Um, so full itinerary of waterfalls and bits and pieces, so it should all be good. Cheers. So first stop on our Litchfield excursion is the Termite Mounds. Um, boardwalk area brings you out to a bunch of magnetic termite termite mounds on the floodplain. Um, these are your north-south variety. So all the ones you see are just facing the same way. All look like tombstones. That'll be the best way to describe it. Yeah, it just looks like a cemetery, doesn't it? And out there you can see the other termite mounds. Mm. So there you go. So this is the first stop. Um, this all goes underwater in the in the uh, in the wet season, so tough environment. And a fire through here recently. Jeez. And for those who are interested, just after 9:30, and it is 31 degrees already. And those clouds are starting to build up more and more each day. So this is the bluey holes they call this in Leachfield National Park, a series of uh, holes that cascade down, absolutely sensational. It is cool, the water's cool, it's not like the hot springs, but very enjoyable. And the kids, well, they can't get enough of it, can they? They've just got to get enough of any nervous energy up to jump. <laughs> they can't do it. <laughs> So that was the blue holes and that was excellent. Lots of cascading water holes, beautiful, clear, crisp water. Um, very popular though, so if you're going to come out here, get out of here early, that's all I'm going to say. So the car park gets full, including coach tours. So yeah, all good. So this is Tolma Falls. Um, it's a bit of a jump off to the left on the way to where we were going but it's well and truly worthwhile coming into a um, massive cave underneath and this would be an impressive sight in the real time when the escarpment's drained. Well worth coming to have a look. My honey's hanging on for dear life. So this is Wangi Falls in Litchfield National Park. A definite must do if you're in the Northern Territory. I must also remember to bring your pool noodles. It's pretty deep out there in the middle. Good collection of sort of younger too. You keep your toes off the bottom.
Who's back? He's been an angel. Oh, don't tell us that. So when you come to a new place, the idea to catch fish is you come out with a local. <laughs> this local's Andy, <laughs> as opposed to the local in Noosa, who was no. Dave. <laughs> Andy's got himself a dirty great shark, which has no desire to come up and show itself again. But it might bugger off. Here it is. See it? He's a very large piece. You're going to need a lot, of, a lot of chips to go with him. There you go. Alright. <laughs> oh, you dirty great big motherfucker of a shark. Lemon shark. Big lemon. Oh, Huge. <laughs> <laughs> there, well, with well, teeth. Welcome there. to Darwin. Welcome to Darwin Harbour. Right. Another shark. Getting good at him. So there we go, Darwin Harbour skunked us again. And in this case, Andy's left me in control of the Ocean to River Twintrex, the big girl. So this could be a bit of fun, a horrible old crosswind to put her on the trailer. There you go. Um, Darwin continues to be my bogey place when it comes to fishing. Anyway, uh, but it's a bluff to us down the daily. Cheers. On the daily. He might just. Oh, it's a big barrel. Knows it? Yeah. Get the net, get the net. <laughs> <laughs>